Welcome. Excel templates from inzara.com use certain approaches to keep the files simple to use, but at the same time very effective in solving real life needs. We designed them such that even someone new to Excel can start using very quickly and benefit from them. We also keep them flexible so that an intermediate or expert Excel user can easily extend the functionality by adding fields or calculations. Before using the templates, it'll be helpful to know these five important tips. They are very simple and easy to follow. Tip number one, do not edit calculated cells. The cells with formulas. Each template has several calculated fields and most are protected from editing. However, some are not protected. It is strongly recommended that these fields are not edited by the user as it would change the calculation logic. These fields can be easily identified by green colored headers. When you click on such a calculated cell, you will see a formula in the formula bar at the top. Tip number two. Input data is always visible and can be edited easily. In most business applications, we may have a form where we enter data and click submit to push that data to the database behind the scenes. Until you click submit or OK, nothing is registered. In our templates, we use a different approach. You are directly entering data in the database, which is nothing but Excel table. This saves a lot of time, but adds more responsibility to the user to make sure that they don't unintentionally edit any data that was previously entered. Since calculations are real time and dynamic, if you make any changes to an old data or old order in this case, it'll immediately update all the dependent calculations. So we should be aware of this. Tip number three, backup by saving files regularly. Save regularly while we are working with the file. Microsoft Excel has its default data recovery process if the Excel application crashes. Other than that, there is no special backup system in the Excel template itself. This is a simple, regular Excel workbook. So please save regularly using keyboard shortcut Control S as you are working with the file so that your changes are not lost. Also, have a regular backup process. For example, you can save a copy of the file every week or every month, depending on how much activity you have in each file, and name it with the example week number or weekend date. You will continue to use the main file as the default working file, but if you delete that file by mistake or something happens to that file, you can still be assured that you have your last weekly copy saved. You could keep the last few weeks at a time and delete the really old copies uh, instead of storing them continuously. Tip number four. So this tip is applicable only for those templates where there are pivot tables used. Some of our templates use pivot tables for calculations. In such templates, please do not rename the fields that are used in the pivot. Such fields are usually highlighted in the template itself and warnings are given not to modify the field names. Alternative methods are provided to create the renaming that the user desires, but we just cannot directly renaming the field header because that would break the pivot table calculations. Tip number five, refresh the calculations when pivot tables are used. As I said, some templates use pivot tables for calculations. In those templates, the calculations will not automatically refresh because that's how Microsoft Excel works by default. So we would have to refresh the uh, calculations by either pressing the keyboard shortcut Control Alt F5, or we can go to the data ribbon and click refresh all. This would instantly update all the calculations. And we, we should definitely do this whenever we enter any input data or modify any of the input data, we should go and refresh the calculations so that we see the true accurate results. Otherwise, if we don't do that, the results will be inaccurate and will lead to misleading conclusions. In some computers, the function key F5 may be locked for other actions, and so the control alt F5 may not work until you go and update the settings in your Windows control panel. Now, just to recap, these are the five things that we discussed so far. First, do not edit the calculated cells. 
Second, input data is always visible and can be edited easily. Number three, backup your file by saving regularly. And tip number four, applicable wherever pivot tables are used. Do not rename the fields that are used in pivot tables. Tip number five, again, only applicable where pivot tables are used. We would have to go and refresh the calculations by pressing Control Alt F5 or from the data ribbon. If there are any questions about the topics covered in this video, please let me know in the comments. I will be very glad to respond. Thank you very much for watching this video.